Hey guys, uh, welcome to a Get Ready With Me. I'm doing this look which is ridiculously over the top and glittery and I've got glitter fallout all over my face. Um, but I wanted to try a bunch of new stuff today um, that I've either had sitting around for a while or stuff that I've recently purchased from holiday stuff. Um, I want to try the uh, Viseart Visart Grand Pro 2. I've got holiday MAC stuff, which is exciting. I've got Jeffree Star highlighters, which are exciting. Um, so yeah, if you want to watch me try this stuff on for the first time, keep watching. All right, so I am makeup, not makeup free, that's a lie. I am eye free, I am lip free, I am highlighter free, and I'm gonna try a whole bunch of cool stuff, a brow free as well, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna try a bunch of cool stuff today. I've got it all laid out and I'm very excited. Oh, I'm missing one thing. I'll get that later. All right, so what I'm doing today is I'm just going through some products that I haven't actually used before, but um, I really want to use them. And I thought since I have so many products that I haven't used, I may as well sort of do almost a full face using new stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the Benefit Brow Contour Pro. Um, some of these things I bought, some of them I was gifted. I'll tell you along the way, I was gifted this. It was actually quite ironic though, because um, we bought some for the makeup breakup. And then just as that video went live, I received some in the mail and I was like, oh, Okay, at least we didn't have to destroy PR stuff and it wasn't awkward. Um, but I was actually really surprised as well that they got my shade pretty much spot on correct. So if you're not familiar with what this is, uh, I really like Benefit Brow products. They're not cheap, but I think they work really well. Uh, I generally like to use the Precisely My Brows, which is like the thin brow pencil. And I sort of just mimic hairs at the front because you can see that my, my brows pretty much start like back here and it's annoying. Um, but this is one of those sort of clickable sort of pen things. Um, it's got two brow products and like a concealer product and a highlighting product. I just wish that this was all like four brow products of different colors or different thicknesses. I would, I would really like this, but it's the first time I'm trying it. So, uh, let's try it. Also, can you see Dirtles in the background? I don't know if you can see her. We shaved her over the weekend because she struggles cleaning herself. When it gets warmer, we've learnt, uh, and she's getting older. So um, hang on, I'll focus on it. Dirtles, dirtles, show your shaves business. You're funny. So the way these work as well is that they've got different skin tones and different brow colors. So I think there's like six variations of them. So you have to match your skin tone and your brow color. So I've got the shade, so I've just got the shade light for the skin and just brown, don't drop everything, just brown for the brow. So you got two shades, two shades. Let's just try it. All right, also, so you click the color down that you want. I've got the light brown down and then you have to twist it out to get the product out. Now, I do want to point out that we played with these. They aren't retractable, so if you push out too much, you can't retract it back in, so don't do that. Um, that is something, yeah, that don't, don't do that. Um, I thought like, I did ask a few questions on my community tab uh, or asked for questions for me to discuss because I reckon this video is going to take a while. I may as well chat about stuff. Um, and I will sort of look at them soon. This color actually works really well. So I like having a lighter sort of thinner pencil to do this kind of business. And then what I generally do is I just go in with a powder or a brow pomade, but I'm going in with a deeper shade just because I can. Clickety click, 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 let's do it. Um, one thing I do want to point out, so you can see that's a quite a lot darker. I kind of like having two brow colors, if you can be bothered. Um, one thing I do want to talk about is that uh, on Beauty News last week, we did announce that we're doing a Melbourne meetup. Um, so if you did want, if you're in Melbourne and you want to come have a picnic, as long as the weather's nice, we're planning on having a picnic on the 10th of November. So, um, yeah, there's that. I'll link down below to, um, sort of like the event that we've got in our Facebook page. I really need to trim my brows, but I don't want to bugger it. I don't want to. Um, but I think that'll be fun. Like we like having picnics cause we're sort of chilled and it's nice to sort of you know, sit either in the sun or in the shade, depending on what you want. And then, um, look, one brow done. Look, look, I've got no brows. Um, we just thought it'd be like a nice sort of chilled way to catch up. And it's also really hard to do meetups because you don't know how many people are going to turn up. And the problem with that is you kind of go, well, where do we have it? Like, is there going to be 
five people and you can go to a cafe or is there going to be 50 people and you can't go anywhere so we thought a picnic was a good idea and we sort of wanted to do it last year but just didn't get around to it um so this year's the year so we're doing it on the 10th if anyone's interested in coming along we think it should be fun all right so those are the brows that i've done i am going to go in with a spoolie and just brush that in a little bit because i find that when i do like my whole brows with a pencil i just find that they look a little bit blocky so i'm just going to do that often the spoolie does like remove some like it's just done there so you do have to go back in sometimes and add it back in but that's you know it's the life of someone who doesn't actually have brows and is trying to fake it oh i totally just clicked down the wrong color and i was trying to fill my brows in with a concealer don't do that um all right i'm going to try the definition shade which is supposed to be like this is what i find funny that they try to choose a skin tone that like supposed to match so many different people um but I'm going to try it anyway. I never define my brows because I just don't do my brows like boldly enough to feel like it's necessary. So this is a step that I never do. And that's why I think I'd like these pencils a lot more if I just had like four brow colors. I don't even like this. How do you even do this? Yeah, this is not for me. It's just lifting my foundation. Put the foundation back on. All right, anyway, on first impressions, I like the brow products. I think they're a good thickness. It's like in between their Precisely My Brows and their Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which I find too big um, because I can't really do the front, whereas I can fill this in and do the front. I like the brow parts. I don't like the concealer parts. That is just not concealer and highlighter parts. It's not for me personally. All right, the next thing that I'm going to use is epic this is really really cool i haven't used it yet oh my god i just ruined the box all right so what i figured i did accidentally was um i had this box in front of me and as i was like playing with that pencil a little chunk of the pencil the brow pencil came off and then i went to brush it away and it smeared it anyway luckily i don't keep boxes but this is the viseart or viseart grand pro grand pro volume two this is an all shimmer palette um it's limited edition and i'll show you it's limited edition it's really cool so uh this is like the slip thing that you come it's nice and sturdy and i quite like it and then this is the palette itself um and you can see it's limited edition because it's actually got the number there so this is number 23 out of 3000 which is really rad so um that's the back there you sort of open it this way and then wait wait, wait. open it this way and then it's it's there it's a little bit confusing but those are the shades there you can see they're all shimmers they've got a slip there um the grand pro one was all mattes so it sort of makes sense this being all shimmers there is a mirror here it's not a massive mirror but this is quite sleek packaging i actually i'm going to say i thought this palette was going to be more like morphe sized it's not it's a lot smaller you can see it compared to my head but that sort of makes it a little bit more compact what can i compare it to so compared to an iPhone, you can see that it's like the width of an iPhone, but a little bit like, or the length of an iPhone, but a little bit wider. So it's a lot smaller than I expected, but um, I'm really keen to try this because I've never actually used Visart or Viseart um, eyeshadows before. And I've heard such good things about their quality. And I was like really wanting to try this. And I was like almost putting like almost, we had it in the cart. Uh, we did a wish list and we're talking about this and we had it in the cart and we're like, do we order it? Do we order it? Shipping's expensive. Do we order it? And then, um, strangely, the next week we got an email from Muse Beauty Pro. Um, and they were like, we stock it. We currently have free shipping on orders over $150 internationally, which ends on the 31st of October. So very soon. Um, can we send you a couple? And we're like, Yes, please. So this was kindly sent from Muse Beauty Pro, which is an online store. So uh, if you did want to pick up this or any like Visart, Viseart products, um, they do have free shipping internationally on orders over 150 with a code. I'll put the code on the screen until the 31st. So I'll make sure this is up by the 31st. So I know a lot of people and I'm the same way where if you're buying expensive makeup, you try to get it at, in the most cost effective way possible and free shipping definitely helps so um yeah i don't know if you're going to use that but that's that um and i'm going to apply this is something i've used before the bare minerals gen nude eyeshadow primer in lit i don't i don't mind this one it's not too bad 
All right, I just put that primer on and I really don't know what to use with this. Um, I'm thinking I'm going, I'm gonna go some interesting shades. So like this looks like a duochrome, like yellow to blue. There's some crazy colors in here. I really like the one below it as well, which is a duochrome. It's got like, see, it's like a berry and then it goes blue. There's some cool colors in here. I just don't even know what to do. I'm so excited. Um, but I did ask some questions on my community tab to just talk about while I'm doing this. Uh, I want to address the first one that is the most important one to me. Heidi Beth said, not makeup related, but would love to know, one, what's your favorite Hanson album and such or song and why? And two, have you been a consistent fan since the beginning or did you fall deeper and deeper in love? I get it. I get it um, later on in life. So she liked them as a kid, but fell back in love with them when they released Underneath. All right, so while I talk about my love for Hanson, which is appropriate because it was Zach Hanson's birthday last week, and I just bought Hanson tickets for their second Melbourne show yesterday. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go in first with, uh, I might go peach. Fuck it, I'm gonna go peach. I'm kind of wanting to do like this row. I like that these are in rows. It's like a bit smokier. That's like more duochrome-y, interesting. That's sort of like jewel tones. It's a bit brighter. It's like glittery. And I don't even know what these are. Are these like duochromes? Or are they just sh weird shimmers? Ooh, I've got some of those there. So you can see that they are all, they look all similar in the, the pans but they are all soft with different, they catch like different lights. So th these sort of look duochrome. That sort of mauve one isn't really duochrome, but it's just a pretty color. So those are like the highlighter shades. All right, I'm not even gonna do mattes. I'm just gonna go straight in with all shimmers. I'm gonna use that peach in the crease. Um, and to answer, oh, let's swatch it first. Let's swatch the peach. Oh, these actually swatch very nicely or feel very nice. That's a beautiful sort of, look at that. Very pretty. Um, so, yeah, if you didn't know, I'm a Hanson fan. Uh, I'm not a crazy Hanson fan, I would like to say, or a Fanson. I do have, like, many T-shirts, and, you know, I've been to all their shows in Melbourne, except for, I think, one uh, one tour, and I'll discuss that. And I sobbed and I cried, and I was very... Ooh, these apply very nicely. These are, like, not super intense, but they apply very evenly and very nicely, which is great. Um, so yeah, I have been a Hanson fan. Like I was obsessed with them when I was a, like a tween. I loved them. My like walls were covered with Hanson posters. I loved them. And then sort of like when you get into high school a bit more, um, I sort of, I kept being a Hanson fan, but I didn't, um, all right, that's the peach. I'm going in with this sort of lemon color there because I'm interested in it. Um, so yeah, I was like, I kept being, like, I kept, oh, that is, it's hard to talk about stuff when there's beautiful stuff going on my eyes. This, you probably won't see it as well on camera, but it definitely has that sort of duochrome. I'm going to swatch it. Oh, my God, I'm all over the place today. So it's like a lemon yellow, but it's got a duochrome of, like, blue shimmer, bluey green sparkly shimmer. It's actually really pretty. These are very soft looking, but they apply it very, very nice. Um... They're really pretty. You're not gonna see, maybe I'll zoom in a bit. So I sort of kept up with their music, um, but I, when I was in high school, I was like starting to listen to other music, more like alternative music and whatnot, as you do when you become a teenager. So I was sort of always up to date with Hanson, but I wasn't like a crazy fan. And I remember when I was in high school, they toured and, oh, I think it was just the end of high school and I couldn't afford to get tickets. Um, and I remember I sobbed. I remember that was the last time I've actually like properly sobbed was when I they, they sold out and I missed out and I was so upset, but I couldn't do much about it because I didn't have the money to buy them. But ever since then, I've been to like <laughs> every, every tour. So fuck it, I'm going in with this shade up here now because that is amazing. So yeah, I've always been a consistent Hanson fan, but I haven't been a consistent crazy Hanson fan. And I think lately in the last couple of years when... Um, you know, they've toured quite a bit and I've just been like, bugger it. I'm going to go wherever. I'm going to do it all. I'm going to get their bloody membership. I don't give a shit. Uh, I've sort of re-embraced it, but still not at a crazy level. I've just, you know, got more cash to splash to go to concerts and buy t-shirts now. But, um, favorite song, Jesus. All right. In person, that looks really cool. Uh, it almost looks like a subtle rainbow. I don't know if you can see it on camera as well. So I don't know if you can see very well on camera, but it's like it goes sort of yellowy green to blue to purple to like peach. It's really pretty, 
very, very pretty, like super pretty, but I want to play with more shades. So I'm going to vamp it up a bit more. All right, to add a little bit more depth, I am going to go in, I think with this sort of red shade down there, just in the outer corner, I just want to add a little bit more depth to this look. Um, just on a really fluffy brush. I'd say I don't really have a favorite song. I say that I go through stages and I have like favorite songs from each album that's sort of like, I don't know, that I can reminisce to or that I love singing along to. Um, like I really love Penny and Me because I used to sing it to my cat Henry back in the day. So it used to be Henny and Me. Uh, so I love that. But I but at the moment, I would say that my favorite song that I like to listen to in the car is I Don't Want to Go Home. I love that song. So that's not on albums. That's on their like fan club thing. But that's a great song. All right, that's added a bit of depth to the look. I'm going to do something a bit deeper on the lower lash line as well because I want to. But these are really easy to use. I understand why people like them. I don't think they're like the most wham bam pigmented, but I have been going with soft colors, so I don't really know. Um, but they are very easy to use. And what am I gonna put on my lower lash line? I'm just trying to think. There's some really cool colors here that aren't showing up properly on camera. Like this one here is like a teal to purple color, which is great. I don't think that's gonna work with the look I'm doing. I think I might go one of these colors down here. I'm going in with this color. I want to try this color. All right, Sheila has asked uh, what YouTubers I follow and why. Wow, this color is beautiful. I only put the smallest amount on. It's this beautiful sort of coppery color. This is sort of like an everyday all over the lid. Oh, that's a bit sparkly for that. Not the copper one, but one of the ones above it. Uh, this is sort of one of those, I would just put this all over the lid, blend it out um, and one and done eyeshadow shades. It's beautiful. Yeah, these are quite soft with a bit of fallout, but that's not a big deal. So I, what, who do I follow and why? Um, I follow very few beauty channels, believe it or not. I sort of did a cull about six months ago. And if I hadn't watched the channel in six months, I unsubscribed. Um, and I've only really kept people that I'm friends with or that people that I really like their reviews. Um, and that's, yeah, I don't, I sort of don't watch much beauty content because I create so much of it. All right, inner part, I'm going this one here. So this sort of purpley line. I think I really like how this is set out. So purples, blues, greens, sort of oranges and yellows, and then like reds and stuff. It's cool. That's it just gives a subtle purple tinge, which is really pretty. It's, it's very subtle, but it's, it's gorgeous. Yeah, so I don't watch many beauty channels. I mainly watch like internet news channels. I mainly watch, sometimes I watch cooking stuff. Sometimes I watch technology stuff. Sometimes I watch whatever. I just don't tend to watch much um, beauty these days. So I, it's mainly the people that I trust their reviews or um, I am personally friends with. That's what I keep subscribed to in the beauty community. All right, so I didn't use much of this uh, palette, but I can say that they apply really nicely and they blend nicely. I'm just sort of needing to go into some of these more punchier colors to really get to see if they are very vibrant in color. This one down here is one that I would reach for every single day. And these together, so I use that one, that one, and that one. They make a beautiful sort of like soft rainbow look. I really like these. Um, they seem like very wearable, easy to use shimmers. I just need to use more of them, but um, yeah, that's a look that, I, it's not like a bold look. I don't know, I just, it's hard to, it's hard. All right, the next question that I think is funny to answer is, uh, did you buy the single shadows from the Shiny Pretty Things collection? Uh, could you swatch them, describe them? I've yet to make it to store to see them in person. Um, well, actually I bought one of each of them. So I did buy all of them. Um, along with the highlighter, the, um, here it is, the snow flushed highlighter, um, and also one of the dazzle liners, which I'll use soon. Um, uh, maybe I will use one of these today. So they, I haven't actually swatched them yet. So they all are glittery eyeshadows. All right. I'm just opening them now. I love the color in the packaging. It's such a cool color. I wish the actual packaging was this color. The packaging is very, very highly metallic, just silver. Yeah, that packaging, I love it. That green, it's way more vibrant in person than it is on camera. I think it's my favorite, my favorite part of the packaging. All right, so you guys might think I'm crazy, but I bought one of each because I loved last year's Stylishly Merry. So um, I thought if this is anything like Stylishly Merry, which it actually isn't, this is Stylishly Merry here. Um, this is more of like a duochrome 
shimmer. It's not quite glitter. It does have like micro sort of glitter in it, but it's not a traditional sparkle. So you can see the difference. Hopefully you can see one's like a chunky sparkle, one's like a metallic sort of thing. So they aren't the same, but I'll talk about that more in a second. Um, but I was wanting these four shades and I thought they're really beautiful wearable sparkles. And I thought, I don't want the silver, but I may as well get them all because there's only one left. So uh, I will swatch them quickly. I haven't actually touched these, so I don't know they look like chunky glitters, but I don't have glitter glue on me at the moment. So I'm just going to sort of swatch them as they are. All right. So the first one is like a true silver glitter and this one's called Just Chilling. Um, and that's what it looks like. Whoa, that's beautiful. So let's swatch it. No, I'm going to wipe my hand. All right. So that is it there. So it's beautiful. It's very nicely pigmented. Oh, it's nice. So that's the one I actually didn't want, but I thought to complete the collection, why the heck not? Then we've got more of a yellowy sort of gold one. It sort of doesn't look gold, but, but it actually is. It's like a champagne sort of gold color. All right, this one confuses me. It's called P for pink, but it actually looks pink on camera and in person, it's got like a gold shift. It kind of looks mainly gold. So uh, let's watch this one, which once again on camera looks pink in person looks gold i don't know what's going on i am super confused but so i don't know if you can i don't know why in person i can see well so, so this is probably like stylishly mary on crack i might actually swatch stylishly mary um stylishly mary has more color to it so you can see it's more vibrant in color but this has a lot of sparkle so it's sort of the same sort of concept but um, you can see that they're both pink and they both shift a gold, which you won't be able to tell on camera, but they do shift a bright gold. But this one's got glitter in it as well. So it's got like silver glitter. On closer inspection, that looks like Stylishly Mary with glitter in it. So if you missed Stylishly Mary, that one's got glitter in it, but hold on because I'll tell you more about Stylishly Mary in a sec. Um, then we have the shade, this one here, which looks quite cool toned on camera. This one is Major Win. Uh, it looks more bronze in person. These are weird duo chromes where they got glitter. They look different on camera to in person, um, but they actually apply really nicely. So oh, that, so that one, once again, it looks more mauve, but it is quite bronzy mauve, beautiful colors. They're all quite different. This one here is make a wish. And this is more like the greeny gold of the bunch. On camera, it looks more green. In person, it looks more gold. I don't know why they're doing that to me. They're confusing me. I'm gonna put this up here. So that's there. Oh, that is gorgeous too. Whoa, these are very pretty. Yeah, if you like Stylishly Mary, the kind of glitter, these are just it, but with more glitter. And this is definitely more of a beige color with a green gold shift. I, you can't see the shift as well on camera i might try to show it a bit later but there's definitely a cool color shift going on and then the last one is more of the purple one this looks silver on camera right now on the screen i'm seeing this is joy 2 but this one to me looks purple so there we go i'm going to swatch it compared to the silver so you can see it um it's definitely a little bit more muted you can see the sort of purpley base to it um, but those are the colors there. They're really beautiful. I'm glad I got them all because they're kind of interesting. All right, in true form, I wasn't recording when I was started putting this on. So this is, uh, I think it was Joy 2. Yeah, that purpley one. So you really can't see the color shift in these, but you just have to, if you know of Stylishly Merry and you know how vibrant that color shift is, you sort of have to trust that these also have a color shift. I just started applying it to the eye with no glitter glue or anything, and it's applying really nicely. Um, I'm quite impressed. There is glitter sort of going everywhere and this is not focusing. Stop focusing on the back. Um, but surprisingly, these for glitters are quite easy to apply, which is nice. So I'm going to put some more on. I'm covering all the beautiful eyeshadow that I just put on before. But this is sort of like how I like to play with makeup. I'm like, let's just put stuff on and see what we think about it. But great, right, on the in lower lash line, I'm putting P's for pink. Uh, that's at one that's sort of like stylishly merry, but with silver glitter as well. I'm going to be so glittery today. It's going to be ridiculous, but you know, I'm filming this on a Friday and I don't hate it. I think oh, that works so well with the lower lash line. Oh my God. I've got so much fun stuff to play with. I'm very happy. Okay. And to uh, sort of 
go extra with the glitter. Uh, this is from the MAC Holiday Collection as well. This is the Dazzle Glass. I got the black one, so it's a black liner with silver glitter in it. And this is in the shade A Little Moonlight. So I thought this is probably like, a, I don't know, they've got a silver one, they've got um, a navy one, they've got a black one, and they've got like a pink one. And I thought this is one that I would wear more often because I like a black, you know, I like I like the other colors too, but I thought if I really like this formula, I'll go back and buy more. But I thought black is kind of cool because if you just have like a nude eye, having a bit of a pop of like glitter liner is a fun sort of thing, I hope. I'm gonna try it today. All right, before I do actually continue, I wanna point out that I did sort of notice what the distinguishing features of these are. So one is like a nude that goes sort of yellow gold. One is a nude that sort of goes an orangey color. I know you can't see it on camera, but it's like a bronze to orange. This one is like Stylishly Merry, it's like pink to gold. And then this one's like nude to purple. So they all have their different things. Uh, they're very interesting. I just keep staring at them. But the show must go on and we are putting on sparkly liner, which you probably can't tell because I've got so much sparkle on my face anyway, that, you know, what is sparkly liner really? Okay, this is quite a thick liner, like not thick as in like, the brush is very thin, which is good, but I thought this was gonna be a little bit more watery, but instead it's actually like a sort of moussey gel, which is all right. All right, so this one, I'm actually quite surprised that it wasn't super pigmented, but at the same time, I sort of expected it to be even less pigmented. That's gonna sound strange, but um, I sort of expect these sort of glittery products to be toppers to liners because often um, to get the glitter to show through, it needs to be a transparent base so the color can't be too bold. So I was actually quite surprised that I could do the liner on its own. Um, I sort of bought this with the intention of putting it over a black gel liner or over a sort of, sort of standard black liner, but this was, you know, it, it wasn't super, pigmented but you know to show the glitter that's what it is it was quite thick but it applies reasonably well you can't see the glitter properly on my eyes because it's on top of glitter with this eye look it'd be better to go just a normal black liner like a matte black liner and then try this with like a matte eyeshadow or a substandard sort of satin or something to really see the glitter effect so you really can't see it properly on my eyes but um, i was surprised that that actually you could use it on its own. All right, last eye thing, I wanna try the NARS. This is the Climax Mascara. We've had this in PR. It's been sitting on my desk for uh, over a month now and I haven't actually used it. Wait, how do you open it? Oh, there we go. So that's it there. Um, and I've seen a lot of uh, stuff on Instagram about, oh, look what it looks like on one eye compared to the other and I wanna test it, so let's do it. I actually think this packaging looks cool. Like it's a bit strange, like that's the top there, but I think it's interesting. I like it. So that's the one there. It actually looks like a traditional brush, but it is a spiky wand one. But I think the spikes are a lot smaller and there's a lot more of them, which is cool. Do good things, do good things. Cause this eye look is looking over the top and crap. So let's get some nice mascara in there to make it look rad. Okay, this is not really doing much so far. Maybe you need really good lashes to make this look good. Cause on me right now, it's not looking amazing. Looks really average. All right, coat number two, let's do some stuff. All right, so what do I think of this mascara on first impressions? I think it's a dry of mascara, which often can be a good thing, but it takes a while to build up. Like it's definitely not much of a lengthening mascara. I've got this rogue little one down here. Uh, it's definitely not much of a lengthening mascara, but it definitely builds volume. So it's volumizing. Um, and then I find that like if you go in with a couple of coats, it does sort of build on itself, sort of like a fiber mascara would. So you do end up having like longer lashes, but you do run the risk of this getting quite clumpy. So I don't know, I'm, I've got to play with it a bit more, but I don't, I'm not instantly wowed by it. It sort of still looks like my lashes are quite stumpy, but now like sort of chunky. Um, but that's, that's, that's that. All right, now for the face, and I do have some new highlighters I wanna talk about, but before I do try a new highlighter, I wanna mention this one by MAC. So this is the new holiday one. This is the Snow Flushed one that I was talking about. So they brought out two highlighters. One, I'll put the photos on the screen, but it's Snow Flushed, which is the pink one, and then uh, Oh Darling, which is a re-promote. Now, Snow Flushed. 
Okay, so yesterday, it's coming up later this week on Beauty News, we destroyed it. So it is not looking as pretty as the photos, like as it should be. I have actually reordered a new one so I can use it. But I wanted to tell you if you missed out on Stylishly Mary, which is an eyeshadow that was out last year, this is exactly the same. It's exactly the same product. Like it's exactly the same. Like it's crazy. It's just they've taken... 10 times the amount and put it in this and only charged a little bit more. So um, I'm gonna see if I can swatch it so you can see the comparison, but I can assure you it is the same. If you missed out on Stylishly Mary, so that's both of them, they're identical. Um, that's Stylishly Mary, that's the highlighter. So if you missed out on both on Stylishly Mary and you want it as an eyeshadow, just buy it as a highlighter and wear it as both. That looks different because of the lighting, but if you move it, there, it's, it's the same. It's so beautiful. So that's that. If you wanted it, I won't put it on today because I want to try something else. And what I want to try is something else that we destroyed the other week, but it's up, I think, later this week. Um, Jeffree Star Supreme Frost in, I've got hypothermia and I also bought, so I bought both of these in Honey Money. So I really want to play with these because we destroyed hypothermia. We were shocked at how beautiful it was. And then we placed instantly an order to buy more. So uh, I'm going to show them to you. All right. So this one here is uh, hun Money Honey, which is like, it's like a green gold. Um, and this one is hypothermia, which is like, I don't know, a purpley pink nude. I don't know if you can see, but it shines pink, then it goes blue, and then it goes pink again. So these are gorgeous. I want to wear them. I want to swatch them. Let's do it. I'm going to swatch a little bit. So that's that color there. It sort of reminds me a lot of the same formula as Stylishly Mary or the new MAC highlighter, but it's a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit softer in the shimmer. You can see that's like a almost goes like a orangey nude to a green gold. I don't know if you can see that. And then hypothermia is beautiful. So hypothermia, you can see it's got more of a purpley tan sort of base and a, and a blue shift. Um, but that also has a really green, a pink shift as well. I don't know if you can see. So it's got like nude and then it goes sort of pink and blue. It's crazy. So these are all beautiful duochrome highlighters. I thought also I'll show it compared to, um, this is the Prismatic Petal by Smashbox. This was with Flatter MUA. This one sort of reminds me a little bit more of, go away bug, go away bug. Um, this reminds me a little bit more of Stylishly Mary, but it's a little bit more pink. So oh, we can't see them all because I swatch like an idiot. All right, I'm going to re-swatch them because I couldn't show them to you compared. That's Smashbox. It's more peachy and pink. This is um, Hypothermia, and that is definitely more blue. And it also has a pink shift, but you can't really see it on camera. This is, what is it? What are they called? This one's Money Honey, which you can see is like tan to goldy green. And this is uh, the new Snow Flushed Highlighter from MAC that looks like um, Stylishly Merry. So that's all of them. They are all beautiful and they are all very similar sort of uh, effect but different colors. So let's try this again. Stylishly Merry or Snow Slash Snow Flushed because they are the same. You can't really see the gold, but you can see the pink. This is Money Honey. It's It's got a more of a powdery finish, but it's more, you know, so beige to green gold. And it looks a lot more green in person than you can see on camera. This is Hypothermia, which is, looks a lot more pink than you can see on camera. So it goes pink. Um, it goes blue, pink, and then sort of like a brownie color. And then I'll compare this one to here. This is... Um, the Smashbox of Ladder. So you can see instantly it's more pink and less gold than uh, Stylishly Mary Focus. So these are all beautiful duochromes, but you can't see the duochrome effect on camera, but you can see that they're all different colors and they're all beautiful. So I'm going very glittery today and I'm going to try Hypothermia because this is the one we destroyed and this is the one I was like, oh my golly gosh. So I've just got that on a brush. I want to put it on. I know a lot of people might be concerned about the base color of it. So let's just see. Oh, it kind of just instantly goes with the eye look because the amount, it hides the glitter fallout. Yes. Yes. So it's got that blue and pink shift, which is gorgeous. And I don't know if you can see, it's got a bit of a tan base. So it doesn't give that sort of blue 
The Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit, I don't like it because when you look front on, you can see blue patches like it's bruised and the sun's just gone behind the cloud, so awesome. But this one doesn't have that because it's got more of that tan. It sort of almost looks like a tan sort of blush. So if you do apply it sort of smoothly, like if you do one stripe, you might see the tan, but if you sort of apply it all over the face, it just looks, it looks like a tan with this beautiful duochrome shimmer to it. So I'm going to, I'm going to go a bit ham because I'm interested. It's beautiful. And it is like a, like a really fine glitter, but it's not obnoxious. It's not chunky. Yeah. It's like a really smooth glitter. It's not a chunky glitter. It's like a beautiful smooth glitter. Um, and it just looks like a wet, beautiful sheen and it catches different colors right now. This looks like bluey purple to me. And that looks almost aqua. It's pretty, it's pretty. That's why we bought them after we destroyed them. We're like, oh my God, that's so pretty. Let's get it. I'm gonna put some of the other one, the gold one, just on my nose a little bit so you can see the color. So that definitely has like a yellow um, color to it. I'm just going crazy today. I can't believe I'm actually leaving the house looking like this, but um, maybe I'll put a little bit on, to mix them together, shall we? Just put a little bit. Can you see the green all of a sudden? These are really pretty. Jeffree's done a good job with this. Usually I'm not like a convert with the Jeffree Star makeup. I'm just like, yeah, it's all right. It's not amazing. But these highlighters are very, very beautiful. So if you did love these sort of wet look, interesting colored highlighters, I think these are done really well. I think they're a lot better than, like I said, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills that have that sort of blue base and it makes you look a little bit like Tin Man. These have that nude sort of tan base that you can just, it just makes it look like you've, got a little bit of blush on um, but I really love the effect of them it's like a wet look it doesn't actually look like pure sparkle like if you're worried about chunky sparkle these are these are sparkly but they are like a micro sparkle that sort of works together to give a sheen um, and they remind me a little bit of prismatic petal if you've used this so it's just different color variations and this is a beautiful highlight as well and if you missed out on stylishly mary uh check out mac because their uh snow flushed extra dimension skin finish is just a massive stylishly mary for your face but i recommend putting this on your eyes as well because it's gorgeous all right, we're nearly done with playing with makeup. And the last thing I want to do is lips. Now I did mention a few times and they'll be mentioned in my favorites as well. Um, these products from Bobbi Brown. So what happened was I was sent two items from the new Lux range. Um, one is a satin matte liquid lipstick and one is like a high shine liquid lipstick. So that's the shine, that's the matte. You can see based on the caps. And I love them so much that I went back and bought two more. So I bought a bright orange matte and I bought sort of um, a nude uh, shimmer one. And the nude shimmer one is called Barely Nude. And this reminds me a bit like a sh sort of shinier liquid lipstick version of uh, Velvet Teddy. So if you like that shade, these are great, but they also brought out um, matte Lux lipsticks as well. Now they, their Lux lipstick range has been out for a while, um, but they brought out these matte ones. I have not used them. I thought it was a good time to try them first impressions. I've got three shades. I've got Crown Jewel, I've got Red Carpet and Burnt Cherry. So let's have a look at the shades and see what works. That is a dark, beautiful, plummy color that might work. Um, so that one was the Crown Jewel. Red carpet is a red, as you can see, and burnt cherry sounds like more like a dark cherry color. So that one's nice as two. All right, I'm going crazy look, so I may as well go crown jewel, which is that sort of purpley color because, um, look, I've got glitter all over my face. Why not go OTT with the lips as well? So, oh, hang on. So this almost has like a really thin formula. Um, it's a little bit dry. It's like a silicon feel. That's probably it. It sort of feels like, you know, when you put a silicon primer on and it slides on, but it also feels a little bit dry. How's that? All right. One problem with it is that I find that because it's got that silicony sort of dryness, it doesn't make a, like a perfect, it's sort of, skips on the, on the, on the, la uh, not lash line, lip line. So you have to sort of work it. So straight away, that feels like a really nice sort of light formula. It doesn't feel sticky or heavy because it's that sort of 
um, what do you call it, silicony sort of thin formula. I think this reminds me a bit of the new MAC. I've only swatched them, I haven't actually tried them. The new uh, Powder Kiss lipsticks. They sort of have that really thin formula and um, this is really pretty. It looks a bit like a stain. So I'm gonna swatch that actually so you can see the colors. But a lot different in color. You can see that it looks like a thin stain whereas that looks like a very, very deep shade. So red carpet is this one here. Ooh, that looks even more matte. That almost looks like um, ugh, Ruby Woo type color. And this is Burnt Cherry. So this is the deeper one, which is a lot drier. So these feel a lot drier than that one. They're different formulas. All right, so instantly the one that I'm wearing stains. That was only on for a few seconds, so it does stain, which is fine. Um, I think it's a really nice color. It feels really nice. Um, I'm surprised at how thin it is, and it's a really beautiful shade, but... I do think that I don't know how well these are going to wear. So I think off the bat, they feel nice. Are they worth the money? I'm not sure. I'll have to sort of update you guys when I do my favorites because I'm definitely mentioning these in my favorites because I love them hands down. But these require a bit of testing. Over the next few days, I'll probably use them all and I'll sort of do um, take note of how, how well they wear and see if they're worth the price tag. But um, I like the look of it. That's a surprisingly nice color. It reminds me of Rebel from MAC. Um, but just a different formula. All right, so uh, sorry I didn't answer too many questions in that Get Ready With Me. Um, I was mainly just dazzled by the glitter. Um, I do want to say, like, let's run through the products quickly and I'll just tell you my first impressions of things. Firstly, the brow pencil. I like it. I like their brow pencil, so I was expecting to like it. I just don't like the concealer and highlighter things. They're not for me. I'm not going to use them. Um, they might be good at, at, like, a spot concealer, but I don't even spot conceal, so not good for me. But I like the brow products in this. And I remember we did a cost breakdown of it. And it does work out that if you like both brow products, it's still a pretty good deal compared to other benefit brow products uh, or brow pencils specifically. But yeah, if you like that, I think it's interesting for like handbag and stuff. And it does work. Um, I'm going to say that this I really like and I'm super keen to try it more. Um, I did sort of use sort of not wishy-washy shades, but sort of muted shades. Um, but every shade I used is very, very soft and easy, easy to blend. Um, I don't think that they all pack a punch with like extreme pigmentation. This one was beautiful and there's so many beautiful colors here. I just keep getting mesmerized in the viewfinder. Um, so this is something I'm going to have to try over a lot of time, but there's beautiful finishes in here. Um, beautiful range of colors. Uh, one brown. So if you don't like brown, there's only one brown. I'm going to use a lot of that. Um, beautiful colors here. So I'm super keen to try more of this and they did apply very nicely. I didn't hit the glitter row. I want to swatch this though, because that is... Oh! <laughs> Shit, shit. So that's a glitter. That's like a, oh, it's like a midnight teal glitter with a bit of pink shift to it. Yeah, I would say if you're a fan of this brand, um, this is, any, or you're a fan of like nice quality shimmers, it might be one to check out. Um, there is that free international shipping uh, details being down in the description box. But yeah, I've, that's my first time using uh, Visart or Viseart and um, I'm looking forward to using more. Then there was the MAC holiday stuff and I do want to say that I was worried that I spent too much money buying all of these. I was like, Kat, you crazy. What you doing? Um, and I'm going to say I am not mad at it because I do love a special glitter. These all seem to have, besides the silver, which is just a straight up bold silver glitter, all of them seem to have different sort of, oh, don't throw them. All of them seem to have different like duochrome shifts. So they're like a nude or a sort of, um, I don't know, tan sort of color. And then they shift either like a peachy orange, they shift a gold to a like a pink or a bronze to a yellow kind of green um, or even like a sort of taupey color to a purpley blue. They're very pretty. Um, I sort of would have liked to have seen them without the chunky glitter because they would be more everyday wearable and they'll just be nice sort of glitter like top coats or eyeshadows similar to MAC Stylishly Merry, but these are beautiful. I'm glad I got them because they are fun. Um, and I think a lot of people are gonna talk about them. They're gonna sell out or most shades will anyway. And then, they're going to come out in bigger forms next year. When it comes to the MAC Dazzle Glass, um, this is something that I think you need to sort of 
wear and see how long it wears. Um, I want to really use this with like maybe just a matte nude look um, because I think that's where the glitter is going to pop. I sort of envisioned this is why I bought it. I envisioned like a nice nude eye and then like a glossy glittery um, liner. I thought that'd be really gorgeous and I don't know if that's delivering because there's so much glitter and stuff going on that it's really hard to tell. But what I could tell was that um, you can do your liner just with this, either with like maybe two really thin coats or um, what I did was I just sort of like put a bit on um, and it does apply reasonably opaquely, which I was surprised by because I didn't expect that. So, um, so far I don't, I don't know what I think about this. The Climax Mascara by NARS, I think I'm more interested in the packaging than I am the actual product. Um, I think it does definitely add volume and you can build the volume. It's just not enough length for me and it sort of makes me look like I've got little stubby lashes that are just like, hello, we're here, but you can't, you can't really see us. So uh, yeah, so far, once again, I'm going to have to play with this more, but so far I'm not obsessed with it. Then highlighter talk, I'm really like keen on these. I think they're beautiful. I'm keen on this. I think it's beautiful. Um, if you like a duochrome sparkly product, just get this as a massive eyeshadow. Trust me, you'll love it. You'll enjoy it. Get these if you like some interesting sort of wet look color shifting highlighters. You don't need to go extreme as like blue and pink or sort of like uh, tan and green gold. Uh, they do have sort of like a champagne gold, a more lighter champagne gold and like a peach. So you can get them in sort of more wearable ones, but we bought these because we destroyed it. And we're just like, that is amazing, need to buy. So um, I really like these and I really like the sort of wet look effect. Look how beautiful that is. If you want a blue or colored highlighter, this is how to do it. Needs a nice nude base and then the color shift instead of the Tin Man stripes and then the color shift, that's, that's not nice. Then lastly, the Bobbi Brown lipsticks. I like the effect of it. I like the feel of it. Um, it looks like a matte stain, if that makes sense. It looks like a matte stain lipstick. Um, but yeah, how well this wears is what's going to determine whether I like it or not, but it feels nice. I do think it's a little bit skippy because it's a little bit dry, silicon feeling. So you probably need a lip liner, a lip brush to get it sort of pre pre precise. precise. Um, but it's a beautiful color. I do like the color. Last question that I'm going to answer. So Truth in Beauty asked, um, do you have any lighting suggestions for someone new to filming beauty videos? Um, I, I'm not good at that stuff. I'm sitting with no lighting and just a window. So, um, yeah, I, I, um, lighting suggestions. I would say probably the best setup is, um, a ring light and like two soft boxes. Any more than that, it gets too cumbersome. Lighting is massive. I have to store it in a different room. It just takes up half a room. So if you can just try lighting with uh, natural lighting, I would suggest that. But um, yeah, try soft boxes first because they're quite cheap. But then if you need more oomph, ring lighting, but nothing beats natural lighting. It just means that you get the fluctuation in light, which is annoying, but you can always play with uh, lighting settings on your camera to sort of counterbalance that a little bit, but I don't know. I'm not the best person because I'm pretty slack with my setup. I sit on my floor and I just have a camera in front of me and cats behind me. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that look. This end look, it looks a little bit tragic. It's not really something that I would consciously do on a daily basis. I feel like I'm going to a kid's fairy party. Um, so I'd probably recommend not glitter everywhere, uh, probably a bit much. But that's sort of how sometimes I play with makeup. I sit down, I put it all, my fa all on my face and I'm like, oh, I want to try more of that or oh, that doesn't go with that and probably don't put glitter everywhere. But um, yeah, I, I, yeah, it, shit happens. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.